Uh, welcome back to Getting Real with Uma Sabela. Today we are joined by Ron Sweeney here. Thank you for joining us, Ron Sweeney. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we ha uh, I have a few questions for you, of which a lot have been answered through the program. Okay. But since you, you were here for this program of awareness, I, I think you have attended a lot of awareness programs. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's a success? Do you think it's making a change in this? in the aim, the objectives of creating programs like this? It does. You know, I am not think whenever there's a problem on the disability outside, it does not have an impact. But some of the things, because it's only not a solar thing as us, no more on the disability, no more on the alpinism, no more than. Yes. Because the master trust is coming in the market and then that's where he lands. If ever we had time, maybe we just got to start a talk and then we'll take the Kahiaki alpinism, where does it allow people to learn? They have also been losing. I am currently doing my research under the alpinism condition as my topic. So I also have this question where I want to ask you. Do you believe we see a discrimination against people with disability and people with albinism condition? A discrimination against them, the ongoing discrimination in institutions and all around the world. Do you think it has an effect in our mental health issues? Do you think it can lead people to have a depression, anxiety or any issues? It can. It does. Uh, mostly, mostly abandoned disability in most cases by a When advantage because of the so yeah, we are we are going to to so yeah, we are going to to so it's it becomes. Yes, 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 um, and give yourself time, not rush in front, but groom yourself to be able to, to, to market yourself, to be able to, to present yourself, yeah, to, to, to build your confidence around it. Because I think the from the one who never, whenever someone sees you, like, who needs ability. And on the content of what you want to give to the people. So at least you must have one. Okay, you you have disability. So umundo value my buga. I buy more in their right out of sometimes out of you. But if you content there, you have researched about it and you have you 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 know your story, then it changes everything. So the problem here too. I want to put it, they want to enter into an industry. Then as I'm by the search, I'm in a zone as a bar by full of a gun. Okay, so <coughs> uh, since yeah, you've been traveling as you mm. said, which and uh, do you travel in your music industry? Yes, right? yeah. What was your favorite country when you traveled? It was New Zealand. New Zealand? Mm. Why? Uh, <laughs> I felt I felt like I belonged there. It was uh, um, it was a beautiful country. Um, the food, the vibe around and there. Who yeah. And who has the same condition or who has a disability? What is your advice? My advice would be in whatever industry that you want to go to, give yourself time to study. And, uh, and research about it um, and give yourself time not to rush in front but groom yourself to be able to, to to market yourself to be able to to 
present yourself. You yeah, to, to, to build your confidence around it because I think people from the Obuti one who end up whenever someone sees you like who need disability and on the content of what you want to give to the people. So at least you must have one. Okay, you you have disability. So umuntu value my buga are very bold in their right out of sometimes about yes. out of you. But if you content you have researched about it and you have you 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 know your story, then it changes everything. Mm -hmm. So the problem here to about the people they want to enter into an industry, then as I'm by the search, I mean as I'm a bar by full of again. Okay, so <coughs> Uh, since yeah, you've been traveling, as you mm. said, which and by uh, around there, the things I've seen there in Auckland, you know, Auckland mm. it was a beautiful country. Uh, you have a mentor or something? Like, do you have, have someone you have, look up to? I have mentors mm. in different fields. Um, uh, it depends. What he, he, I make at the time. So, if I make a mentor again, um, in terms of music, I have a mentor. In terms of songwriting, I have a mentor. In terms of uh, production. So, you, you're multitasking. Yeah. So, what else do you do? Because I, I, I ever met you on a Black Life TV uh -huh. when there was an awareness program. You got an award for being the first musician who okay. has a mm -hmm. fitness condition. Yes. So I'm a musician. Said, I'm a musician. Yes. I'm a song writer. Mm -hmm. I'm a yes. I'm a song writer. Mm -hmm. I'm a motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm a, a, a radio DJ as well. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm a business. I'm an entrepreneur. I've got my own business, Squid Funerals. Which is a very you know. I was still gonna ask about that. So yeah. it's so, really funeral. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Um thank you for joining us in our channel. Please like, subscribe and share. Right.